Hello guys, my name is Kong and today I'm going to be talking about Wind Talkers. This movie is based, is starred by Nicolas Cage and our supporting cast. Uh, I don't remember their uh, their name but it will be in the tagline in the uh, like in the description area. And this movie takes place in World War II is uh, the American um, on their, I guess they are fighting their way to Japan. So they're fighting, they're on islands on islands, fighting island to island, that's what I meant to say. And let's talk about what I like about this movie. I like the movie that it is, it's, it's, you know, it's a, there's a lot of action. And I like the cinematography in certain, in certain scenes, especially the beginning and then probably like maybe the uh, one third of the movie, it really puts you in the... F in that battlefield, you, you feel the the rawness, the grittiness, the uh, the 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 freshness of the move of that that scene. It just it just feels so f not fresh as in like fresh fresh. Not as in like oh, um, I experienced myself. It's like it's more like you know when you watch it that certain scene again. It's still. It still shocked you, like you're just like wow, you know. So the cinematography is really good. The hand, the, the camera movement is really good. It make you feel like you were there along with um, the the main character Johnny um, Nicholas Cage's uh, character. You feel like he's going through this all over again, and I like that. I like that the traumatic the pe traumatic effect it has on on men, not just on one man but like on all of these men they are affected mentally it's like mentally by the war by the the uh, the, the carnage of war so and i like that you get to see it's just it's the emotion is so raw so well portrayed so that's what i like about this uh i like the the main actors uh the two supporting actors who are the um, um part of the navajo cri uh, tribe they are the code speaker or code talker that, that relay the information back to the main battleship. And I like that because they kind of give the, give you a sense that the United States was using uh, uh, people, uh, people of color, so people of different, uh, different races to incorporate in the battle of a bigger, in, in, in of a bigger battle in the Pacific. So I like that you get to see it because you rarely get to see that. Uh, you see a little bit of the uh, African American in the, in the uh, armed forces and the air forces. You don't quite see, you know, man of different race or color in the battlefield. So you get to see that. Uh, you get to glimpse it. I like that. I truly enjoy it. I like Nicholas Cage. His acting was really good, very convincing, especially at the end when he was dying. It was just, it, it's like, wow, you know, that was, you, you felt that he was truly leaving this earth. So. What did I not like that I wish our co-talker had more time uh, on screen, more more development on their on their character, their backstory. Uh, I I wish we got to see more of a relationship between Nicolas Cage and the girlfriend that he supposedly is dating or talking with. And I kind of wish we get a little bit more of that background. You got a glimpse. You get a glimpse of that, but you don't see if it's, a, you know, that they're actually talking to each other and actually, you know, so I, that kind of thing. Um, what else did I, it feel, there's some certain scene that feel kind of like, it doesn't feel like a continuation. So it feel like it's uh, all over the place, but it that's not, it's not supposed to be because it's in warfare so, and you fight different scene, different, different spots. So it's not, it's not just one progression. I get that. It's just to me, the way it was shot, the way it was edited, it feel kind of off. But that's me being nitpicky. So, with the rating I give this movie, I give it a, a 7 out of 10. I truly enjoy when Talker. It's a really visceral, very violent, very raw, very... Just, it puts you in there. Especially the first third. It's like, and, and the last third too. You know, the last third, it really make you like, wow, this is what our men and soldiers, our grandfather, great-grandfather, experienced when they were in the battlefield. So, 
and the, the old PTSD, and you get to see that in Nicolas Cage, it's like, he's on the verge, you know. So, a 7 out of 10, I surely enjoy this movie. It's, it's one of those movies where people don't watch it as often, but when you, when you watch it, you're like, wow, this is good, you know. So, a 7 out of 10. Anyway, guys, please like, thumbs up, share, subscribe, and browse to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of content for you guys to check out. Please do so. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.